In this video, we dive deep into the world of military rifles and explore the key differences between the AR-15, M4, and M16. Whether you're a firearm enthusiast, a history buff, or just curious about military technology, this comprehensive guide will help you understand the unique features, specifications, and uses of each rifle. We'll cover the design and purpose of the AR-15 and its civilian use. The evolution of the M4 and its role in modern warfare. The history and significance of the M16 in military operations. Alright, so let's dive into comparing the mechanics, performance, and versatility of each rifle. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of what sets these iconic firearms apart and which might be best suited for various applications. Among the most famous American rifles in the world are the M16, Arkansas, 15, and M4. The history of these three models is deeply intertwined with that of the United States Armed Forces. This confusion arises because the M16, Arkansas, 15, and M4 belong to the same family of firearms, originating from a lesser-known model, the AR-10. As a result, they share many technical and physical characteristics that contribute to this confusion. Nevertheless, they also have fundamental differences that define each weapon. If you want to professionalize in the world of firearms, it is essential that you thoroughly understand the history and differences of these legendary weapons, which have been in service for over 60 years. I am the tale of the past and welcome to Time Voyagers. Before diving into the comparison, it's important to know a bit of history. In 1945, after World War II, each branch of the U.S. Armed Forces evaluated their weapons to analyze their performance in combat. The Army reviewed the M1 Garand rifle and although expected, the results were not as positive. According to soldiers' testimonies, the M1 Garand was a slow and unreliable weapon which made them feel insecure when using it. In contrast, when using the Browning Automatic Rifle, or BR, soldiers felt more confident and courageous due to its automatic firing capability. As a result of this research, it was concluded that a new rifle needed to be developed that was lighter, more accurate, reliable, and primarily automatic. The first solution was the M14 Battle Rifle. Although it was more lethal and better than the M1 Garand, the M14 turned out to be uncomfortable and difficult to handle because it was too long and heavy, weighing over 5 kilograms. Additionally, although it was automatic, it was difficult to control, so the problem was still unresolved. In the mid-1950s, Eugene Stoner, from the Armed Division of Fairchild Aircraft, began working on a new option for the U.S. forces. The result was the revolutionary AR-10, a rifle with innovative features, a powerful cartridge, half a kilogram lighter than the M14, easier to control, and more maneuverable. This was the first rifle with a linear design using a direct gas impingement system and a rotating bolt. In 1956, the AR-10 prototype competed against the FNFAL H and KG-3 and the classic Springfield M14, but failed in the tests when its barrel was destroyed. Additionally, the U.S. Army had already purchased a large number of M14S, which led to the AR-10 being forgotten. However, Eugene Stoner did not give up, and in 1958, with the help of other engineers, he designed the AR-15, known at the time as the XR-15 prototype. This automatic rifle, gas-operated and with 20 or 25 round magazines, was revolutionary for its time. It used plastics, polymers, and aluminum in its design, making it extremely lightweight and manageable, weighing less than 3 kilograms. 
Despite its innovations, Armalite made a business mistake by selling the design of the AR-15 and AR-10 to Colt in 1959, leading to the Colt AR-15 with a 5, 56 by 45 mm NATO caliber. At the beginning of the Vietnam War, the U.S. government high command quickly realized that the M14 was not suitable for combat and they needed another rifle for their troops. Thus, all eyes turned to the AR-15 which led to the birth of the M16, a military variant of the AR-15 with a 20-round magazine and 5.56mm caliber. This rifle not only shone in Vietnam but also became one of the most iconic military weapons of all time, being the main rifle of U.S. forces for decades, participating in conflicts like the invasion of Grenada and the Cold War. The M16 underwent several improvements over the years, but in 1984, Colt began working on an entirely new version, the M4. This carbine was a shorter version of the M16 with a shorter barrel, a collapsible stock, and other modifications to favor close quarters combat, such as in some wars in the Middle East. The M4 carbine can fire in semi-automatic mode and in three-round bursts, although the M4A1 version can also fire fully automatic. The M4 was introduced in 1991 and slowly adopted by all U.S. Armed Forces. Although the U.S. Army still uses modern versions of the M16 in some infantry applications, it has been replaced by the M4, which offers clear advantages in portability, comfort, and maneuverability due to its lower weight and dimensions. This historical overview makes it clear that these three rifles are deeply related, leading to many people confusing them and circulating much misinformation about them. On the other hand, the differences between the M16 and the M4 are more pronounced. The M4 is a smaller carbine version of the M16. Although both use 5.56 by 45 mm NATO cartridges, are gas-operated and have a rotating bolt. The size difference is significant, making them very different weapons in terms of handling. The M16 has a length of 1,000 mm, while the M4 measures 840 mm. The barrel length of the M16 is 508 mm, while the M4's is 370 mm. Finally, the weight also varies. The M16 weighs 4 kg with ammunition, while the M4 weighs 3.52 kg with ammunition. I emphasize the size difference because this is what has led all branches of the U.S. The military eventually favored the M4. As for the differences between the AR-15 and the M4, they are easy to deduce since they are almost the same as those between the AR-15 and the M16. Another question that may arise is how so many companies manufacture variants of the AR-15, some of better quality than others. This is possible because, in 1977, Colt's patents on the AR-15 expired, allowing practically any company to manufacture automatic assault rifles and semi-automatic carbines for both civilian sale and export. Interestingly, most of the M16 and M4 rifles used by the U.S. Armed Forces are manufactured by the Belgian company FN Herstal rather than the original Colt. In summary, the AR-15 is the father of the M16 and the M4. The AR-15 and the M16 are brothers, while the M4 is the logical child of the M16. Comparing the function and performance of an AR-15 and an M4 doesn't make much sense. While the AR-15 is one of the best-selling rifles for civilians and is truly spectacular, the M4 carbine is one of the primary weapons of the U.S. forces and dozens of other countries, to the point of being described as one of the firearms that define the century. That's all for now. Subscribe and activate the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. Without further ado, my name is The Tale of the Past, this is Time Voyagers, and I wish you an excellent day.